I'm basically instinctual in what I do, and um, I've probably often been accused of maybe being eclectic in the sense that I jump from uh, one form of imagery to another. And of course, you know, <laughs> the funny thing about the, great, uh, the arts are that usually a great artist always has a style which is so unique that no one else really has it, be that music or otherwise. And one of the things I have tried not to fall into is this business of uh, literally going out and hunting up a style, just so you can say, look, I have a style. So what if Carl Berger's not like some artists, consciously drumming up and perfecting a single style? This guy's got many, the result of less agonizing and more experimenting, as he tells it. With watercolor, it's an explosive opportunity to splash around and let go. The result? A kind of romantic expressionism. Things are a bit more structured when Carl picks up a pencil. His drawings, in the tradition of German artists, are intricate and definitive. His latest work is a marriage between the drawings and paintings. They're miniature collages, much like the illuminated manuscripts of medieval days. But if there's any consistency to the imagery Carl uses, then it lies in his use of Victorian motifs, particularly Victorian architecture. He's been interested in beautiful architecture ever since he was a kid, when he used to get his dad to go house hunting. And I used to always say to my father and belabor, why can't we live in a really, like a Tudor house or something like that? And we'd always drive up to short hills, which was a mistake he made because my brother and I would get on to my father and say, why can't we move into a nice house like this or a colonial or something? So uh, subconsciously as a kid, I sort of probably had illusions of, of grandeur that there was a status symbol attached to better architecture. And somehow that worked itself into my psyche. Surprisingly, Carl's dream home in Califon is far from Victorian. Inside it serves as a showcase for some of his work. An original mural in the bedroom, watercolors in the den, how about a drawing over the bar? But there's another building on the property that's just as important. This barn stores many of Carl's works that have never been seen publicly. The question is, why hide them? Like I'll do a painting or a drawing, and if it comes out really good, like I think it's this is so terrific. I have kind of a, I guess maybe it's something instinctual, uh, what is it, like little muskrats and things, they, they save the nuts and the things for a rainy day. I thought, well, maybe I hold off on this one. I won't show it for a while. I'll, I'll keep my guns in the, in the closet and bring out the slightly smaller guns. I sometimes wonder why is it that I don't show this? Now, sometimes it's because uh, they, they get terrible uh, uh, treatment, you know, when you take them to these, these exhibits, you know, they get bashed around and maybe I'm afraid they're going to get damaged or something. And the other thing is, too, that uh, some of the big drawings now and the watercolor I've been going to are so large, they don't fit into my uh, hatchback uh, Oldsmobile. <laughs> I don't want to buy myself a station wagon or anything like that. Now, maybe Carl does hang on to his work for all those reasons. But the truth is, this man is really hungry for outside recognition and approval, especially right here in his own state. He has yet to have a major exhibition of his own at the Newark Museum or State Museum in Trenton, and this despite praise from colleagues who consider his art top-notch. His work is so good that he's even one of 50 select members invited to belong to the Associated Artists of New Jersey. He's also served as president of this prestigious group for the last three years. I feel that uh, I've, been given the, I've been given the shaft so far uh, from our, our, shall we say, the, uh, the powers of the state that, are, that decide whether you are aesthetically uh, credible or not. I feel I have. I must say I've been getting a lot of um, private uh, encouragement, uh, both from these shows that I, I go into nationally. Uh, you know, that's one mark of where you register, you know, the terrible competition. If you can hold up among that, that should say something. But in my own home state, I would say that uh, I'm waiting for someone to really say, hey, Carl, OK, I think you are ready. Let's, let's see what we can do with you. I'm getting more frustrated, but I'm a Capricorn. And I've, I may have, shall we say, doubts about whether there's anything to these signs of the zodiac. But the funny part is, in my life, everything I've ever set out to do, every goal I've ever set out to do, it took a heck of a long time. But it eventually happened, and in my Deep, deep down psyche, I feel, yes, somewhere, somehow, these will be someday appreciated.